Hi everyone, welcome to Diamond Rose Tarot and your pick a card reading for who and what is coming towards you in July and we are focusing the energy on love. Love is the main energy that we want to know about tarot please but tarot will tell you what tarot wants but we would like to know about love wouldn't we we would please oracle give us a message for pile two regarding love in july for the youtube viewers i hope you're all well and you enjoyed the energy of the solstice so beautiful in England here so gorgeous we had a clear sunny day which is very rare <laughs> even in June what is the ma message for Pile 4 Oracle right so here are your Oracle cards love messages for July tarot Please give us love messages for July for the pick a card viewers. Who or what is coming towards them in July 2019? Who or what is coming towards them in July 2019? So just relax your mind. Try to relax your mind. Think about absolutely nothing or think about the universe or something vast like that. Contemplate the universe and what the universe has in store for you, what is not yet seen, what is unfolding in July. Right. Let's go from the top for pile one. Split the deck for pile two. Split it again for pile three. Just one couple more. And split the deck again for pile four. So there are your cards, which you can choose from as per usual, or from the petals. I should probably invest in something more interesting, but this will do for now. Power one, power two, power three, and power four. So relax. What is your eye drawn towards? What pulls you in the most? Pause if you need more time and we'll begin. Power one. What is coming towards you in July? Your oracle, the tribe. Beautiful card. Knowing who your tribe is, your friends, your family, your loved ones, your group, your social network, where you fit in in the world. It's a beautiful card and it's love. Look at the giraffes kissing. Mummy and baby. And all the animals, all together, in harmony. And the spirit of ancestry. Okay. What well, is coming towards pile one in July? Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So I see you um, juggling around lots of ideas here, lots of ideas, creative energy. Can be confusion, but I, I see it more as ideas, like options. Like you have many options. And you, the tribe with the Three of Cups as well speaks of uh, sort of joyous unions with friends. 
and then page of swords this could be somebody on the outside of your friendship circle I see them sort of looking over looking over at you all looking at the fun you're having looking at what you have I'm not mm, don't know about this page get a little bit of a spiky energy off this page like a little bit of jealousy or something like you have you have all you have it all you've got you have all these options you have all these friends you have this tribe let's see what else queen of pentacles knight of swans four of cups and page of cups perhaps um, this page is trying to get your attention and um, you're kind of oblivious to them see this page offering a cup and this one not really seeing this cup and or you know so busy having fun sort of energy like you're enjoying yourself but somebody wants in I think somebody wants in <clears throat> this um, knight of wands as well it looks almost to be sort of chasing this queen of pentacles and I see you as the queen of pentacles I see you as the queen you know having all of this um, these options I mean you could be dealing with three different people here you may be quite in demand this July you might have lots and lots of opportunities to be going out and having fun with friends enjoying the summer like so much so you'll find it difficult to balance all of these um, invitations and nights out days out fun times like you're just sort of getting on with it trying to manage your social life but somebody, yes, yeah, somebody's, um, somebody's wanting in here. They they have you in their sights, so they they're aware of this, and perhaps fear as well that you are um, are not going to notice them. Like you've got so much going on that you won't really notice them. But they have you in their sight. This is if you're dealing with one person. You could be dealing with quite a few people here. Yeah, I do see a bit of that longing energy, like, oh, I want to be in, I want to be in Pile One's group of friends. I want to be in that. I want to go out and trips, and I think you will receive communication from this person. I think they'll be quite direct with you and they're quite fiery as well but I see them having confusion perhaps they think you have lots of options or that you're too busy to notice them so the knight of wands comes across very passionate very fiery but it's still you're the queen and you you have to get back to you have your back to all of this you know it's like you, I do see you being a bit sort of oblivious to them in a way what does this knight want or this what does this person want with pile one what do they want with pile one what do they want with pile one tarot what does this person want with pile one? They want a passionate beginning with you. That works well with the knight, doesn't it? He's holding that, he's holding that ace and he's bringing it to you. So if this is somebody you can think of, I do see them as being outside, maybe just outside of your friendship circle maybe you know them through friends but um, they're not as in 
your network as they would like to be. They want more. So if this is resonating and you think you know who I'm talking about, you might want to take a look at this. And make some time, because I see you being quite busy. Make some time for this person. If this is what you want, because they know what they want. Oh yes, they know what they want, Pile One. They like you. But yeah, you're indecisive as well. This is like being indecisive. Trying to manage all of these options at the same time. Making time for this person or making time for friends. So much going on for you in July. That this person is feeling a little left out. So let's see what is the advice for Pile One Tarot for July regarding love. What is the advice for Pile One regarding this reading? What is the advice? Let's go with this one. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, well, there you go. There you go. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with an air or water sign. But it could be anyone, but they're very passionate at the moment. They may be coming across like a page because they're feeling that little, they're feeling a bit small, you know? They're feeling like little insignificant little pages, like while you're having all this fun, you're the queen, you've got all these options. They think you have lots of options and they want you to look at them. They want you to look at them all right. So the advice for you is to meet them, make time for them, see where this goes, let them into your tribe and then see how it unfolds. Very nice, Pile One. Have a wonderful July, I'll see you again. Oh, hang on a minute. I also wanted to add, before you go, I've started a new little thing daily messages where if you would like to take part on the community tab on my channel we post the daily message and then at the end of the day we come back and just write down what's happened that day just to see how it works it's different for everyone of course but it's very interesting so if you want to have a bit of tarot fun with me click on the daily message for tomorrow and then at the end of the day write down your experience and I would love that thank you see you later bye pile two what's coming your way in July let's see your oracle come to the edge Ooh, look at those hearts Got to meet somebody halfway here pile two Let's see what's happening for Pile 2 in July. King of Wands. Six of Cups. The Magician. And the Star. Oh, wow. So, I see you manifesting a long-held dream here, Pile 2 long-held dream something that you've wanted for a long time dreamt of for a long time wished for for a long time is is manifesting for you yes could be this king of wands here who is um could be a karmic tie somebody that you've dealt with in the past it could have been years ago it could have been months ago you know but it's it's a nostalgic connection, it's karmic, it's, a, it's like a soulmate kind of energy. I see you as the ma magician this July. I see something mani being manifested for you. It's nice. The Four of Wands, Strength, the Sun, and the Five of Swords. This is manifestation. There is some difficult energy that needs to be addressed, 
come to the edge. This needs to be addressed. This could have been a conflict. It could be jealousy, it could be rivalry, it could be ego, egotistical behavior. Somebody being selfish and looking after their own needs. This could be a little bit bratty as well, you know? Being a bit of a brat, someone's been a, bat, a brat. And it needs to be addressed. Um, but look at this, we have uh, give and take, give and take. So this is very beautiful. This is uh, harm harmony, the strength and six of cups. And also a very strong connection that you have here. So I see a lot of happiness. I mean, this, this is a minor arcana surrounded by majors. So this is not as, um, it's not a big deal. It will be addressed and you will have to be brave and maybe that will be your approach or their approach. But I see you being the magician. And this king is um, stable. You know, he's uh, definitely someone from your past. He's in the past sort of position of the spread. And he's uh, sort of strong where he is, he's stable. But I see you calling him in. There is give and take between you. Powerful read. Let's see if I can get some more from this. What's happening here with this Five of Swords, Priest Tarot? happening here with this five of swords and the star and the sun I see it being brought to light you feel the star and the sun is illuminating energy it's being brought to light but as it's been brought to light it's been you know the energy is restored the sweetness is returning so there's forgiveness here and releasing That's what else can we ask? Because I see this very happy. There's a lot of happiness. Perhaps you need to make the first move. Let this come to the edge. But I don't think that it will be something. It won't, you know, it'll be something that you're doing anyway. It won't be because you watch this reading. It'll be something that is on your path. So it's natural. It's a natural thing. It's something that you've already put into motion, and you know, into the cosmos. So you've set these intentions already, and now it's manifesting for you. How is this manifesting, please, for pile two? How is this manifesting for pile two? Let's have a look at this one. Nine of Pentacles. So I see if you are feeling this energy, Nine of Pentacles energy, if you're feeling like this, like um, self-reliant, independent, confident, secure where you are in the world, happy, then the man manifestations is natural, is natural for you. So I see you feeling good in July, feeling feeling this Nine of Pentacles energy, but I want to know how is this manifestation coming into being? How is this manifestation coming into being for Pile 2? This one? Hierophant. One more please, Tarot. Go with this one. Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is communication. And the Hierophant is like um, formality. Nine of Pentacles is self reliant, independent. So it feels like um, some kind of formal communication. It could be unrelated to feelings of love it could just be a, some kind of formality like um, 
a need to contact this person or they need to contact you for something less that's not connected to love you know it's connected to something else it could be con it's something that's earthy something on the earthy plane but this is what leads you in to something bigger where this can be addressed and this connection can be restored tell us more about this formal formal type of communication here oh no that'll do that i think that's fine but it's an it's a gateway for you it's an opening it's an opening to communication this formality opens the gate whether it's through them or somebody that's connected through them so what's the outcome please for pile two regarding this king and this communication three of wands three of wands Hmm, speaks of uh, things arriving and also things being sent out. So it is similar to the communications. Well, it's also distance. But somebody who has attained and achieved the merchant, um, is the merchant, the two, right? what's this one? The tower. One more, please, for the outcome. So I don't see this as being a negative tower as this spread, which is the main spread, is highly positive. So what is the outcome, please? King of Pentacles. So this is also, this speaks of wealth. Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This is somebody very wealthy who has a bit their own empire. They send out the ships they ships bring in, and then you have the tower. So the tower is sudden and unexpected. So perhaps you are sending out some kind of communication, some kind of manifestation. You have these um, formal messages. It might not be directly through this person, but then suddenly they arrive. They could be arriving from a distance. They could be messages from far away that you receive. But it's um, unexpected for you. Whether this plays out in July, it might go beyond July, but the wheels are put into motion in July. Where you go to the edge, you send it out, and it'll come back to you when you least expect it, pile two. I hope that makes sense for you and I hope you have a great July and I would also like to invite you to take part in the daily message community little bit on my page. I do a daily message and then at the end of each day we discuss or just write a little comment and say what actually happened to you that day because I would love to know how the general daily energies play out in each person's experience. It's just a little experiment and a bit of fun, but I'd love to see you there. All right, bye. <coughs> oh gosh, this tablecloth is not big enough. Look at this. Oh, oh. Pile two, need to get a bigger tablecloth. Right, what is coming your way, pile two? Regeneration, I like regeneration. Things that you thought were dead and buried, come back to life. So let's see what the tarot says for you. Six of wands, temperance, Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Two sixes, nice. So this is about regeneration right here. 
look at these two horses as well they're very similar they're, they're sort of forward motion so this is success and some the attention is attention is on you with the six of pentacles the attention is on you this knight of cups is focused on you and they're feeling good they're feeling good they might have had time out to um restore their energy they have perhaps in the past may have been this can be a player energy the six of wands is sometimes somebody who's an attention seeker who craves attention to be egotistical and but I see at, with the temperance in between these two it looks to me as though they have uh, healed from this in some way or they've moderated that behavior if that makes sense like they've worked on themselves and now they're coming through as a knight which is open-hearted romantic and that and their attention is on you they want to give to you two of wands ten of cups whoops ten of pentacles it's interesting with regeneration and two tens and the moon so the tens are about completion so perhaps this person has been through a cycle of completion and have reached a place of harmony that they can now bring to you and this night I feel is um, somebody who who would who would it's serious about a commitment it's ten of pentacles very serious like they know what they want now they've made a choice they may have been actually very successful as well the two of wands is somebody very successful and the six of wands also success and victory so maybe if you maybe you were dealing with somebody who has been very successful but also made them a little bit undesirable in their egotistical behavior I don't know but they um, they've reached some kind of uh, harm, harmony within themselves the ten of cups and temperance is uh, joy is spiritual love as well an angelic sort of love so I feel like this person has been through some kind of um, transition here and now they want to put their attention on you but they may not be clear about their intentions this moon you might not really understand where they're coming from why their attention is on you what's what do they really want are they deceiving me or have they really changed but I think they have I'm just gonna read to you regeneration from the book and see what it says here in relationships because I think this person may have been through a positive transformation rebirth second chances new opportunities so relationship message the world is based on connections and relationships no matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now death and endings are only illusions there is life after death love after loss and in this moment you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence can you feel it love is rising up to greet you so you could have been through this transition yourself but there is there is this um, this is transformative healing energy here successful and you know the success all around this reading so something you thought was gone is coming back is renewed there's a second chance somebody wants a second chance so let's find out about this moon, 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 moon. 
Why is the moon here? Pile three tower. Why is the moon here? Swan. Queen of Cups stirs you. It stirs your emotions. It stirs your fears. You don't know if you can trust this person. They may have hurt you in the past, you know? They may have um, not seen you fully. They may have been a bit wrapped up in themselves. But I feel like they know what they want now. So, let's see. What is the advice for Pile 3 regarding their love connections in July? Please, Tara, what is the advice? Six of Swords. So it's moving into clear, clear waters. Moving away from the troubles. It's leaving, leaving them behind. What's the advice for Pile two, 3? Blah. I think this third one here. The Four of Wands. This is finding stability. A new foundation. A new happy foundation. A celebration. Celebrate this this shift, this move, this change. Because there's, there's a lot of movement here as well. You see these knights are moving. They're all moving. And the six is moving. This tree is growing. There's movement here. So go with it, pile three. Get in that boat and sail to this four of wands where you have security, happiness, celebrations, foundations for something new, something better. This is a beautiful reading for July for you. I hope you enjoy it. And before you go, I want to invite you to take part in a little bit of tarot fun. On the community page, I do a daily message, just a few cards, just like five minutes, and I would really enjoy it if you could watch that message and then let me know what happens in your day and how the energy is applied to you. Just a little, a bit of tarot fun and an experiment. And I would love you to take part, so please do. Have a great July. I'll see you again. Bye. And lastly, Pile 4. What's happening for Pile 4 in July, Tarot? Your oracle is time to go. Oh, <clears throat> where are you going, Pile 4? Where are you going? It's foggy. What's happening for Power 4 Tarot <clears throat> in July? Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, The Lovers, and The Nine of Wands. I'm just going to have a quick read of that time to go for you. Because I know it speaks about endings but that doesn't look like an ending to me let's have a look endings completions walking away from something because there is nothing left to learn or experience uh at the very least this for the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person it's time of letting go and knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion this doesn't mean anything is lost this card can speak of a breakup or drifting apart or the end of a soul contract. It is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. Well, I do see a decision here. But here we have victory and the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers, this is very positive and then the 
is this, which is, um, you know, it's a wounded warrior, he's defensive, he's still got fight left, but he's, he's guarded, he's protecting himself, he might be paranoid as well about this. So if something needs to change, it's this energy here, but here we have um, very three very strong positive cards. King of Swords, so there's, there's um, open, honest communication here with this King. Two of Swords, Five of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. So perhaps in the month of July, you will not like what this King says. There's um, a bit of sadness regarding this connection. I mean, this cup, the King of Swords is somebody who's not communicating on an emotional level you know it's very rational logical and clear-cut straight to the point blunt and this um, this is like a block so it's like the wheel has been stuck I mean the wheel will turn but there is stuck you mean between between these two, the Queen of Swords, I mean, King of Swords with Queen of Wands, and in between the two of them, we have Two of Swords and Five of Cups. So between them, there's a, a block with this one, and there's sorrow with this one. But this is a choice, and it will be clear to you to make this choice, or this one will make the choice. If you're not feeling that, um, like you can, somebody's going to make a choice. It might be you, but you don't want to make it with this nine. We've seen the nine of ones looking over at this lovers, looking over at this choice, not knowing, should I do this, should I do that? Do I want to deal with... Um, somebody who, whose uh, communication is, is you know you, with this two of swords next to this king I feel like they're they're blocked at the moment they're speaking but they're blocked perhaps they're blocked from their emotions powerful they don't allow their emotions in they stick to their swords where, and then you're left with this, you're left with the emotions and the, um, this feeling, this feeling, can I take any more of this feeling like, oh, what next, God, what now kind of energy. So something needs to change, and it is. There is a decision here that's being made. It's, a, it's definite, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. It's happening in July. So who's gonna make it? I think it's you. So this may not resonate with anyone. Let's see, it's somebody that you've been dealing with that is in your experience now, with that time to go card. It's somebody that you've been dealing with for a while and had many ups and downs with, you know, and not really known where you stand with this person. Somebody who blocks their emotions. And that's not good for you. That's not good for your energy. So that needs to change that needs to go, that block that this person has, that needs to change. So you might have to grab the bull by the horns here, and you are the queen of wands, so you are 
charismatic, fiery, decisive. You're, you know, the, out of all the queens, you're the most active. You know what you want and you go for it. So you have that energy this month. You have the energy to be the one that takes charge and makes a choice. Or they sit there in their righteousness, you know, in their blockages, happy as Larry in their blockage, not allowing things to come through. So you have to take that stand. So I'm going to see what is the outcome for you. Should you take this stand with this king? Take this stand, make this choice, say, I'm, I'm not doing it like this anymore. If you want to keep your emotions blocked and let, leave me with all this heavy energy on my own, then no. you got to go. So, if pile four people take on the queen energy, overcome these energies and make their, make their decision what will be the outcome between them what will be the outcome between them please tarot two of pentacles still up and down up and down you might need space from this person power four What will be the outcome for power four if they take the stand, take the, grab the bull by the horns, state their needs, make their choices? What will be the outcome between them? See, so you'll still, still be juggling this burden, this responsibility of being that, I suppose, you know, do you want to be that? Different question. What's the advice for Pile 4 regarding this connection? I mean, we already have making that choice, but let's get further advice for you. What's the advice for Pile 4? Page of Swords. Advice for Pile 4, please, Tarot. Advice for power four. Hmm. Advice for power four, please, Taro. Well, the adv it's advising you to communicate. Oh. I see you dismantling the structure of what you have. The advice is for you to break down this foundation, break it down, communicate with this person, communicate with them quickly, as you like. It could be through social media, uh, emails, whatever break down this what what is this what do we have here break it down break it down strip it down to its bare bones and get the clarity that you need whatever foundation that is false tear it down and see what's really there beneath the surface see if it's something that can be rebuilt into something more solid or whether it's just a waste of time with this king because it could go either way, you know, for some of you, if there is something there that this person needs this shake up, they need it to see, oh God, they're right. If you, as soon as you tear something down to its bare bones, they, they realize them. You may realize that you don't want them, or they may realize, actually you're right, let's build something more solid, I'll give you more, that kind of energy. Either way though, something is, has to be released, something is changing, something has to go. An old energy, an old pattern, or the actual person, 
either way something has to go okay pile four before you go I would like to invite you to the community section on my page where I do daily tarot readings and they're only about five or six minutes long but then at the end of each day we share our experiences of that day and see how they connect to the tarot so it's a bit of tarot fun a bit of an experiment and a way to get to know you all so join in if you want it'd be nice to see you there all right have a great july bye